we go. lectures here at Brave New Books. And since that time, over 21 million people worldwide have watched those videos. So never underestimate what we do here and how it goes out into the public and the effect that we can have. And so first I'd like to thank Brave New Books for hosting the event and hosting events like these. And in the event that you haven't purchased something from the store, even a bumper sticker, anything, for a while, if you could, before you leave tonight, help the store out by getting something. You know, getting that book that you thought, or use something, but purchasing something from the store keeps this venue alive so that we can have events like this. So thank you. We have an extraordinary and pretty rare opportunity here. You know, for many of us, we've been on this path for kind of changing America and seeing the discrepancies and the hypocrisies for many, many years. And we've all come across different materials for studying the Constitution and different materials for a sovereignty movement and studying materials for, you know, all this kind of breaking free of the constraints and these illegal rules that seem to be foisted upon us and accepted blindly by most of the public. Well. Almost all of those materials that we've come across all started about 40 years ago, and it was a man named John Liberty who wrote the Sovereignty Handbook. And from that material, all these other materials have sprung. And so for 40 years, our brother here has been beating the drum on the path. I met him 30 years ago on the West Coast. I had a real popular band, and I kept hearing about this guy, Johnny Light. Johnny Light, he's putting on an event, and he's putting on this, and turning on that. And then it wasn't until the 90s that I started coming across the sovereignty material myself, in fact, 1991. And I had no idea that Johnny Liberty was Johnny Light, right? And, <laughs> and so he's got many Johnny Liberty, Johnny Lights, Johnny this. He's an incredible musician, he's a historian, an uh, extraordinary human being, and just an average human being like you and I, but he carries with him profound information. And so it is with great pleasure that I share with you this rare opportunity that we get to experience in live and public. And we all have a warm round of welcome for John <laughs> So before we get started, maybe a few logistics. If we could, if you have cell phones, you could turn them off. Oh, I meant to say that. And if you're way in the back there, there's lots of seats right up front here, and you'll hear a lot better if you're up here. So come on, move forward, and uh, fill up those vacant seats in front of us. My first time to Austin in probably 20 years, and the first time that I've ever spoken here. And the closest that I've ever been to speaking was in Dallas and Fort Worth, and that was uh, well over 12 years ago. I was so I haven't, been, I haven't been out speaking very much, so I'm I'm back out speaking after taking about a five-year hiatus. But I was on the circuit for about 15 years, and I started doing the teaching and workshops and writing the books around 1990. <coughs> and the first edition of the book that came out was called Reclaiming Your Sovereign Citizenship. And then that morphed into the Sovereign Americans Handbook. And then that morphed into the Global Sovereigns Handbook, the Individual Sovereignty Process, and a book on allodial titles and land patents, and about five other books on court documentations and procedures. And then the most recent book, a criminal defendant's handbook for a federal criminal defendant. I have that book over there too. 
And then there were some audio courses as well, which are still, in fact, they're over there, the historic G1 audio course, which is over on the table there now, in that burgundy folder, there's 12 CDs in there. And the sequel to that, the Success Education course. So there's 24 more hours of material there. So there's plenty of educational material that's been developed over the course of some 20 years or so. And then about five or six years ago, a lot of the material was released into the public domain. So literally that Global Sovereign's Handbook has been downloaded by over a million people for free, <coughs> plus also educated people, well over a million people face to face and through the audio courses and books in the first 15 years. So, so it is, like Joe said, amazing what kind of impact that you can have by focusing your mind and putting together a presentation, teaching others, sharing what you know and who you are with other people. So I'll intersperse the talk tonight on vision for a new America about little anecdotes from my life and different things that I've gone through and experienced. But tonight's theme and part of the reason for the hiatus was to have to take a fresh look at the material and fresh look at America also post 911 since a lot of things have happened since 9-1-1 that have changed the very fabric of our nation. But also, what hasn't changed is our comprehension of what is occurring or what we can do, what action we can take, what pro-action we can take to remedy the situation, to bring solution into the field. It's real easy to see the problems because they're all over. Everywhere you look and everywhere you turn, you are bombarded by problems. Life is a problem. It's all one big problem. It could be. But my focus, and my focus tonight, is on a vision for a new America, which is very solution-oriented. And I believe that's where we have to shift our attention. And as much as we are seeing the streets alive with activism today, and I'm actually encouraged by that, the young have taken to the streets and they have finally given themselves a voice if they could not find a voice anywhere else or any other expression for their political views at least they can assemble and they can sit there with their signs and they can organize with the signs and use the internet and social media and other forms of communications to get their message out there in a rather profound way so I'm encouraged by that so the theme tonight is vision for a new America and there's an old African proverb, without vision, the people perish. And America has lost its vision. America and, and our government, and, and frankly, most of us, most of the people have lost their vision too for what life is really all about. What it is to be an American, what it is to be free, to live in a free country, to have opportunity available to you. We're all feeling the squeeze these days. The, the cash crunch, the squeeze, the uh, consolidation of power at the top, and the alienation of power from most people, and a lot of victimization, et cetera, et cetera. But it's really up to us to turn all that around, and it has to begin right here at home in the heart and soul of the human being. Our activism, as much as we want to go out there and change the world or make things different and lobby and be an activist and talk about problems, we really have to get down and do the, the really hard work, which I had to do myself over 20 years and more, actually a whole lifetime of work, to be able to embody sovereignty within myself. Because until I did, there's nothing out there going to change. It's going to be the same mirror and the same reflection until I actually change myself, change the way that I'm seeing. And sovereignty is not just about something external. And too often the sovereignty movements and people have externalized these things, made them about something out there instead of making a bit about something that's in here. So vision, vision for a new America. Visions must be coherent. They have to have integrity and they have to inspire people much like the original American vision did. I mean, many of us have done some reading, and maybe we have some sense of what the original miracle of America was in its founding 235 years ago. It was the first time in history that individuals had formed a government. They actually, and they were powerful individuals, and they were very intelligent and erudite and aristocratic in a sense. 
but it was a sovereignty based on all of the people